I'm calling this uh, special error code 1009 troubleshoot. Um, someone sent me this FLA. It's a jigsaw puzzle that I that I have a video for. And um, when they finish the puzzle uh, and set it all up and try it, they get that 1009 error code. 1009 error code. And usually, it's got some fancy word, cannot access property or a method of a null object reference. Wow. Um, and in my experience, what that usually means is that you have one or more than one frame, and when you jump into a next frame, if you don't bring movie clips up to the next frame, the action code is still looking for it and gives you that error code. But there's no, there's no um, two frames, so that that's not the problem I'm seeing. So what I did was one at a time, for example, I, I'm going to start by getting rid of all the action script. So what I did was delete the action layer. So now it can't be an action code problem. Test movie test. And I get this, which looks like I'm jumping from frame to frame to frame on and off. Like So it's, that's very strange. Um, I left that out. Uh, then I got rid of the border. Delete the border. Well, I'm trying to narrow it down to a layer. Once I get the correct layer, I'll be able to hopefully fix it. Still does it. And now we come to this one. So I'm going to delete target. Test it. It's a long process. And this one called ending. So I'm going to delete that layer and test it. Ah, so you say, oh good, the problem's with ending. And that's a great conclusion. So let's go back. But then it says this test movie launch failed. So let's go back. I'm going to close it off. Don't save it because you don't want to save those any changes. You want to get back to where it was. No. Open it up again. Open recent. Open recent. And this was the last one that we deleted. This one here. So I'm going to just delete this layer. And basically it should it should work. So test movie test. Ah. I still have the same problem. So it was not that layer. And I spent a lot of time with this, so I'm going to close that off again. Don't save it, no. Open it back up. Uh, open recent. So I looked around, looked around. And I found a couple things. I don't know that they have any problem. But this ending, if I look at this ending, unlock the layer, select it. That little circle in here means that's a movie clip. And if I open the property panel and highlight that, open the properties panel, it's the ANOA movie clip. So I'm going to double click on that. Now I'm inside that movie clip. So I open the actions panel here. And I see a small error. There should be a semicolon here. That's that's not our problem, but that should be in there. Go back to the timeline on this movie clip. And another thing is if I go to frame two, I have this text. And it says this line's a text line right here. See that? So I'll lock all the layers, unlock that, and I want to select this text. Open the properties panel. If I click here, embed. This should be upper, lower, numbers, and punctuations. Okay. And I don't think there's any code here. If there's no code, this should be static text. Okay. So now, some changes. Let's go back to, to the main timeline. And let's just check this. Because we did make a couple changes. Test, movie, test. Same problem. 
dismiss all. So I, I, I sometimes when I'm working with Flash, I'll write some code or I'll do something and um, it just doesn't work and I have to do it all over again. So for this one, I'm sorry to say, you could try doing pieces over again, but where it's not a long, a long um, program, I'll show you a, a quick fix for this one. If I open the library for a minute, there's a lot of things in this library. There's a lot of things. Look at it. It's 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 fair amount for a small project. So what I'm going to do is start open a new FLA. The width this is the same as the one with the, that I'm working on was 480. The height of the one I'm working on was 800. And I'll go back to this one here. And if I just click on the side here and open the properties panel, it was 480 by 800. And it's going to be ActionScript 3, Android 3.2. So let's go over here, File, Publish Settings. Don't want this. And up here, Android 3.2. Okay. Hopefully that will, will work. I'm back here and I'm going to click on the top layer, hold my shift down, click on the bottom layer, right click, copy all those layers. Go back to our new one, get on here, right click, paste layers. And this bottom layer is just Lexter so we can delete that. Now I have everything here. And if I open my library panel, see how much less I have. Let's test this movie. Cross our fingers. And lo and behold, it works. Now, you might, if you didn't want to do this, you might want to click on this one, the one you're working on, open the library panel, and anything you don't need, delete. Because, for example, if I look in here, I see all these movie clips that are already here. And I don't know if that's a problem or not, but that's up to you. Uh, is there anything else? Anything else? No. Nope. nope. Now you want to save this with the proper name naturally. So that's up to you. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.